Hey guys, welcome back to another video about nade spots. This one includes a few of my favorites, including some for Dust 2, a couple for Inferno, and a few on cash. This video aims to show you how I utilize these nade spots and why I would be using them. I hope you enjoy. So on CT side of Inferno, I like to play A, I like to play Arch. And generally, I'll put a smoke just up here, which flies over and lands just at the top of Banana like this. That smoke means we get uh, three smokes over on B side, so that it's really easy to hold it. And the next nade I throw is this flash up here, and this is going to go just over the roof like this. And just pop on the other side here, meaning anyone down middle is going to get flashed. So you see that guy behind the crate got flashed, and it gave me a chance to pick him off, just like that. So if anyone's pushing middle, or uh, trying to peek it early, that's an easy way to get a, a free frag at the start of the round. So again, in the last round of the same game, I put a smoke over in banana, make sure it goes over just like this. And then I come down and I put a flash up mid exactly the same way. And they actually try and smoke this, but they fail and put it on the roof. And then this guy is completely blinded by that flash and I just take him out again, making the, the round 4v5. So this is a, a smoke I like to do when we have a really great uh, B spawn. Um, so basically as I come in like this, I'll throw a smoke really deep into B, and then wait in case a, T, a CT is trying to rush. And then when the, I know they're not rushing, I'll check plat, and then we'll start pushing in. So the reason I really like this smoke is that it 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 significantly reduces the number of angles you have to clear as you're uh, coming through the tunnels and into B, as you only really have um, dog, um, close closet, and then the plat to worry about. And if anyone's on that box standing on top of it, which generally leaves them really exposed anyway, so it's gonna it's gonna be a trade kill, whatever, if they're up there. Um, and then generally, when we're doing this, some guy will go this way, check those areas. I'll throw a flash and jump up here just in time for it to pop. And then I'll go up and start peeking the site, uh, general focus on closet. And I miss this guy as he comes through, but I'll check closet and I'll go through. So having the smoke here is just really great for actually getting into the site as it, it, it significantly minimizes the number of angles you have to check while you're in uh, tunnels. So at the start of a round when we have an orc that wants to go mid, I'll throw a smoke just off this box here, which will bounce uh, just behind the spawn, which means our guys can cross through the smoke and go to B, so the T's can't count how many cross, but it also leaves a spot open for our orc um, to actually still see up through mid here. And he can play this angle a bit closer if he wants to contest the other orc like this. Uh, but generally he'll, he'll sit back here and just sort of play uh, this angle. So another nade spot that I love is on cash, and it's bouncing a molotov or a grenade off this fence and into the back corner. So you'll see uh, our guy here gets orped, so we know there's a guy there. So rather than peek him, this guy throws a flash and I'll throw a molotov. So this flash is going to blind the orper, and then my molotov is going to bounce off this fence and bounce just here and land right at the back of the site, meaning that this AWPer is going to get completely burned by the Molotov, and because he's flashed, he has no idea that he's even in the fire. And you can bounce a grenade around there as well, or you can do, say, a Molotov here and a grenade there, because this is also a nice place that uh, AWPers or anyone else like to, like to hide at. So you, if you want to get it here, you can just bounce it off this wall. And if you want to get it behind, you can bounce off this fence without really peeking too much. So it's great for just clearing out those two areas. So on cash CT side, I tend to play at B. And generally when I go B, especially on pistol rounds, I'll put this smoke down here where you bounce it just off this left panel here. And it's going to bounce out. And then you generally know if the terrorists are going to come this way because you'll have seen them already just before the smoke pops. So if it hasn't popped already, I'll double back and I'll... Uh, I'll either play mid or I'll play A, depending on uh, where my team's calling me. And you see my guy's pushed out through the smoke because we didn't see anything, so he's going to go around and try and catch him in the back. So this smoke's really great, especially when they've decided to rush B, because it, it can even slow them down a lot. Or if you are really sneaky, you can play maybe about here in the smoke, and as they push out past you, you can then peek and kill them as they're running through here. And it's a great way to pick up two or three kills quite early in the round. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. You can check out two of my previous videos below in this Nadespot series. If you want to find out when more videos come out, both in Nadespots and in general, just subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and comment below if you find any more Nadespots for any of the maps. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.